story tonight, fresh attempts by the Ministry of Labor to try and resolve issues surrounding the doctor's strike have failed. The Ministry of Labor and doctors' union officials failed to agree on which union officials should be part of the mediation team. Labor CS Phyllis Scandier maintains representatives chosen by the union are not authorized by the law to take part in the mediation process. Rita Tinina begins our coverage tonight. <coughs> 11 days since doctors began their strike and efforts to try and break the deadlock between the government and doctors moved from Afia House to the Ministry of Labor. The ministry convened conciliatory talks bringing together representatives from the Kenya Medical Practitioners, Pharmacists and Dentists Union, the Ministry of Health and the Council of Governors. We mutually agreed that each party nominates five representatives authorized to proceed with the mediation process. But just like last week's stalemate at Afia House, day one of the Ministry of Labor meeting was marked by a gridlock over who should represent the union in the mediation team. The representatives uh, from the union were not the official representatives authorized to lead the mediation contrary to their recognition agreement and the Labor Relations Act. The cabinet secretary wants five union members to the mediation team to include, among others, the union's chairman and secretary general. If they choose otherwise, there should be a letter uh, appointing any other party to represent them. That is what the law says, and we follow it to the letter. The union, however, insists... The five members picked have been representing the union even at their Afia House talks and says demands by the ministry do not hold any ground. The Labour Cabinet Secretary has postponed the conciliatory meeting to allow union officials to constitute a team. But even with the initiative by the Labour Ministry, the doctors insist they will accept nothing short of the implementation of the 2013 Collective Bargaining Agreement, which offers a 300% pay increase. Rita Tinina, KTN News.